From a pinup girl to a studio head, here is the incredible story of Venetia Stevenson. She was born in London in 1938 to a show business family. Her gorgeous mother was the acclaimed actress Anna Lee, and her dad, Robert Stevenson, was a respected movie director. So, it could be said that she was destined for Hollywood. And sure enough, just before the outbreak of World War II, she and her family moved to Hollywood. Venetia grew into a visually stunning teenager and quickly moved into the modeling business. She soon appeared on the covers of several men's magazines. She could be seen everywhere. She had success in television as well. Warner Brothers set up several guest appearances on TV shows, including the role of Ricky Nelson's girlfriend on the popular series The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet in 1958. Other work included roles on Cheyenne in 1957 and 77 Sunset Strip in 1958. Hollywood set her up with several big-name stars using her good looks for publicity. These obvious setups included such big stars as Tab Hunter, Anthony Perkins, and, believe it or not, Elvis Presley. It was all Hollywood propaganda. Venetia frequently publicly dated Tab Hunter as a beard to cover for his then-boyfriend. Although Tab Hunter's gay relationship was an open secret in Hollywood, Venetia acted as a confidant for Perkins. She later said, Certainly, we all knew Tony was gay, we were real friends, and he would sleep over at my house in the same bed. But there was never, ever any. Well, you know. If you have a friend of the opposite sex who's gay, it's just up in the air. In 1956 she married an up-and-coming actor named Russ Tamblin, from the movie version of West Side Story. But, unfortunately, the marriage lasted only a year. She and Russ Tamblin were history, but Hollywood was now her future, and she was soon cast in several films. Her first film was Darby's Rangers in 1958, starring James Garner with Peter Brown and Ed Burns. You know, you're pretty wonderful. You're unspoiled and you're trusting. I just want to help you, that's all. I can't bear to see you troubled and discouraged. I'd do anything. Now you just stay the way you are. That's all you have to do. Don't ever change. Everything changes. And everyone. That's one of the truest things that Father taught us. You see it here every day. Things grow up. They get old. They die. Oh, not really. New things are born to take their place. And the memory of what is good and beautiful never dies. But to have memories, there has to be something to remember. That's true. Generally, Venetia was cast as the beautiful distraction in action-adventure and crime movies. She had a great ride in Hollywood during the 1950s. But as the 50s came to a close, she felt that her acting was not sufficient to continue. So, moving on, she married one of the legendary Everly brothers, Don Everly, of Wake Up Little Susie fame, in 1962. They had two daughters and a son. All three dabbled in show business and the music industry with some success. Sadly, they divorced in 1970. Venetia never remarried. Always moving forward, Venetia became a script reader for Burt Reynolds' production company. And she became vice president of Cinema Group Ventures. This production company released Star Trek III, The Search for Spock and Trading Places and several other movies. She is fully retired and enjoys a simple life enjoying such pleasures as horseback riding. Something that she enjoyed doing with Tab Hunter. From a pinup girl to a studio head, Venetia Stevenson's story was truly incredible.